And everybody's appalled and sickened that, you know, how can this be? I mean, there's, there's no rationale, there's no, there's no religious understanding that these guys are applying, right, to, to sort of justify what they're doing. You know, to an extent that even some of them are saying, no, these, these guys cannot be Muslim. I just want to make a point about where, uh, about where Al Baghdadi, the leader of ISIS, he started his speech off in a similar fashion to when Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, the first Caliph of Islam, started his speech. Once an enemy head was brought to Abu Bakr al-Siddiq in a battle, and he forbade he forbade this. And he, what he said was that, "Do not bring me this head. Do not like do this. Do, do not act like this." So ISIS, they're supposed to be the Islamic State. But they're, they're, just, they're doing exactly what was forbidden by the first Caliph of Islam, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. For the love, life of me, cannot understand the rationale behind it, you know? And a lot of them, even though they might be young and some of them don't fully understand their religion, one thing they do, do, they do know is that the basic fundamentals of our teachings are that you cannot do this. The potential of a, of a British citizen being beheaded by these lunatics. You know, the impact of that is going to be far-reaching to the British people over here, especially the British Muslims. Uh, we're Muslims living in the West and, uh, you know, we get affected by this. People, you know, paint us with that brush, thinking that, you know, we're, we're Muslims are like this and this is what Islam teaches us, but really and truly this is not from Islam. And, uh, you know, the scholars have spoken about the groups such as ISIS. They are not representative or reflective of Islam. Their actions do not represent or reflect what Islam teaches. What I would say is it's upsetting, really upsetting that a British citizen could be, could be about to be beheaded soon. They're the real enemies of, uh, of, of Islam. They, um, and, if, and if they're about to kill another, another British citizen, um, I, 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 think, I think we need, we all need to go out, um, obviously reach out to all the imams and um, uh, get get a word out there that the, the, this is not from Islam. It's not. It's not anything to do with us. One thing is very important to understand: the journalists that have gone out there and are, and are being beheaded at the moment by these brutal men. They're they're only out there to relay a story about what's happening to Muslims, to what's happening to the Syrian people to what's happening to the Iraqi people. People going out there, you know, putting their own lives at risk, you know, to relay the truth, the facts, uh, as what's happening by the Assad regime, by other brutal, you know, dictators, by other, you know, brutal groups. And they, they end up being, you know, beheaded like this in a very barbaric way. Shame. You know, it's an absolute shame what's happening.